All right guys, welcome back to the channel. And in today's video, we are actually going to be working on the cylinder heads. In the last video, we actually put the short block together and I now have it sitting here on the engine stand. So check it out. Here we have the short block that we put together. Um, this is a custom long rod engine with forged pistons and rods and it's pretty much sitting on the stand all ready to go for assembly. Now I just gotta work on the cylinder heads and some of the things I'm gonna be doing to the cylinder heads are, I'm gonna be doing a light pocket port to get the cylinder heads to flow a little bit better. I'm gonna be installing some new valves and I'll probably just resurface the cylinder heads. So let me show you guys what I got right now. Let's see if I can get this out. Oh man, this is looking super nice. Let's go ahead and open this real quick. There's something about brand new cylinder heads is just really nice. Oh man, check it out. It is brand new. Here's the cylinder heads right here. For the pocket port, I'm just gonna be grinding down the lip off this valve seat here just a little bit so the air can just flow out a little more smoothly. And then uh, maybe I'll reshape the bowl just a little bit, but I'm not gonna do too much work because, you know, if you open up the ports really big, it does flow better on the top end, but you actually lose low end performance. So for a street car, that's exactly what you don't want. So we're just gonna do some super light work on these heads right here. And the tools I'm gonna be using to do the pocket port is I'm gonna be using this carbide burr right here. Um, this one's actually made for cutting aluminum and it actually works really well. And then I have these sanding rolls right here to smooth everything out afterwards. And then I'm gonna be using this Mac die grinder right here. And that's pretty much all you need. So yeah, let's um, get to porting out these cylinder heads and sending them out to the machine shop. Okay guys, when it comes to porting these heads, here's exactly what you wanna do. There's this lip right here in the port that I wanted to smooth out. And then I'll probably reshape the bowl just a little bit. I'm not gonna take off too much material, if anything at all. And there's also a lip right here. It's really hard to see on camera, but if I take my pick and I slide it this way, the pick gets caught on the lip right here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grind that down and smoothen it out so it's just a smooth transition all the way into the cylinder. I'm gonna be doing the same thing for the exhaust ports as well. I'm just gonna reshape the bowl just a little bit. I'm not gonna take off too much material. And then I'm also going to take out the lip right here. I got my tool set up. So let's go ahead and get to it. Alright, so already we can see that the uh, the transition is already getting a lot smoother towards the valve seat here. And that's exactly what we want. I am not opening up the bowl too much. I'm just taking off a little bit of material here because I don't want to overport it. Alright, so it's pretty difficult to see what I did on camera. I guess if you look at this port right here and how it has that lip right there. I basically just grinded that lip down and kind of shaved the bowl down just a little bit on the bottom right here. And I didn't take off too much material. So now you see it's actually super smooth. So that makes for a good transition. And then there was also a lip on the valve seat. So when the air comes in, it actually hits the lip. And then that's where you saw my pick get stuck. So let me, let me actually grab my pick and show you guys. So right here, my pick gets stuck every time. And then what I ended up doing was I shaved that lip down. So now you see it's just a smooth transition into the, uh, the cylinder head or into the cylinder. And um, that's exactly what you want out of a pocket port. I know some people, they actually reshape the bowl quite a bit according to the size of the valve you're running. But for me, I'm just doing some super light work. So yeah, that was the intake side. So I just got to do that three more times and then we'll move on to the exhaust side. Okay, cool guys. So just like that, I got the intake ports all done. 
And as you can see, I just did a pocket port. Not too much work, not too much material grinded off, just a little bit. And then I took off the lip right here from the valve seat. That alone right there should net me a little bit of gain as far as um, head flow goes. Let's go ahead and uh, move on to the exhaust side. For the exhaust ports, I'm gonna be doing the exact same thing. I'm just gonna be taking off the lip from the valve seat. So there's a smooth transition from the valve seat into the bowl. And then I'm gonna reshape the bowl just a little bit. I'm not gonna take off too much material again. And then afterwards, we're gonna come to the intake port and then I'm gonna knife edge this divider right here. As you can see right now, it's not so sharp. It can definitely be more efficient than it is right now. So yeah, I'm gonna do that after I work on these exhaust ports. So let's get to it. All right, and just like that, the uh, cylinder heads are nice and ported. You guys can't really see it, but I have a smooth transition into the port in every single port. And then I actually opened up the area of the bowl just a little bit, not too much, especially because I don't really know exactly what I'm doing. <laughs> just kidding. Um, yeah, and I'm pretty satisfied with that. Real light, easy work to gain some horsepower. Not bad at all if you ask me. I mean, this does take about, about 30 minutes to do and then you do get a little bit of gains. So this is definitely worth it. But yeah, we do have one more thing to do though. I do have to knife edge the divider on the intake port. This is the divider. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna sharpen this up a little bit. So, you know, when the air comes in, it just has an easier time being split into the two ports. And after that, I'm gonna call it with these heads. No need to do anything crazy. Especially if you're at like 500 horsepower and below, you don't have to do anything crazy to the heads at all. They already flow pretty good. And yeah, so let's go ahead and get to this knife edging. So after doing an hour and a half of porting, I'm finally done with one of the cylinder heads. Check it out. So here's where I'm at. I cleaned it up a little bit with the sanding roll after I cut it open with the carbide bit. Also knife edged this divider right here. And then I took the sanding roll and took off all the flash casting in the, uh, the intake port. Nothing major, just some light work to the cylinder heads. And now should be good to go. So yeah, now I just gotta send the cylinder heads out to the machine shop, wait for them to come back, and then we can slap everything back together. Oh. 